welcome back to my channel we'll be doing another review of the braxton's family legacy baby the family is fighting they are fighting and i said this is very hard to watch to lose a loved one and to have both sides of the family fighting is not an easy thing and this happens in real life when you lose someone that you love who has been the glue to the family of two two families one family which is the braxton's don't like tracy husband what is the real reason why the braxton's don't like tracy husband kevin senior in my opinion them feuding with kevin senior tracy husband I don't have nothing to do with funeral arrangements and tracy likeness to me that's just my opinion it don't have nothing to do with that i feel like they're using that as a storyline because that fits the narrative of tv and in my opinion the braxtons have never liked it tracy husband but why they never stated why remember when tracy was alive she always fought for her husband to be in the space to take on the braxtons and every time they would come around the sisters would have an issue with him they always had an issue and i wish the braxton family would be honest because if you watched the episode last night, Tawanda said it at the end of the taping. Do you really want me to tell the real reason why we do not like Tracy's husband? And I'm like, yes, please get to the truth, Tawanda. Please, what is the real reason? Because this storyline of a funeral is not adding up. Even though it does happen in real life, family falls out when a loved one dies due to inheritance. Um... They think somebody want the um, money, the house, and they few. But it is not about money because in the beginning of the show, Trina told Kevin Jr., your mother have not left nothing to us. I like, why would Tracy leave anything to her adult sisters? Y'all adult, y'all have your own family. It is Tracy's best interest to leave it to her husband and her son. I feel like the real reason that the family Braxtons are not getting along with Tracy's husband is due to the rumor on the internet. The rumor has it, this is hearsay, that he might have had an outside baby on Tracy. And I'm like, if that rumor is the truth, what does it matter? I feel like that is the real reason. Something with infidelity or the way he treated Tracy. But I said her family didn't treat Tracy no better. The sisters. And I'm not understanding why Kevin Sr. cannot be on the show. That is her husband. She is a Braxton. If you want to talk about legacy, that man is her legacy. At the end of the day, her husband, the father of her child, her husband. So why... He cannot share a space on the Braxtons. But but Trina husband could be on the show. Tawanda men who haven't married her yet. And they talked about that. <laughs> they got into that. Why this man have not married Tawanda? In 2020, he proposed to her but never married her. And it's been four years later. People say a man knows when he wants to marry you. And that is instant. I'm not sure if that's true or not, child. I don't know. But I said, girl, you. she said she's not going to pressure him to marry him. But, baby, do you want to be a forever girlfriend for a lifetime? That is not it, baby. That is not it. So, that man that you staying with better do something about it. Because you don't want to be a forever, a forever girlfriend, child. And let me tell you, when you get married, things do change. So, everybody meets up at this restaurant to talk about how is little Kevin coping with the mother with the death of his mother's Tracy. And he's like, and they want to say, don't never call them because only an emergency. And little Kevin only calls them 
when he needs something. And they saying, don't do that. They want to be part of the presses of him grieving. He said he got to stand on his own. And I agree with Kevin. He have to learn. He have to learn how to stand on his own two feet, grieving his mother, becoming an ex-husband. And he got to become a good father to his child. Is he mentally stable to handle all this pressure? I don't think so. I don't think so. But at the end of the day, he got to figure it out. That is the purpose of being a man. You got to, when you fall down, you got to be able to get back up. This is why I tell people, do not baby your kids. Do you have daily conversations with your children? And do they know how to maneuver this world when you leave this earth? Because I do not want my child crumbling when I leave this earth. When you are on this earth, do you have daily conversations with your children? If I'm not here, I would not be on this earth forever. I'm not saying you don't grieve your parents. A loss of a loved one, especially you have that close bond, would never be easy. But baby, you should not be getting arrested and you should not be falling out with your father. And I'm not understanding why him and his father is not getting along. And at the end, they do this um this this meeting with the lawyer at the show, and they saying that Kevin was supposed to have full control of Tracy's image. I'm like, I this is not adding up to me. Am I the only one that's watching this and the story is is not adding up? I'm like, if Tracy left him anything and it was supposed to all go to him, inheritance, when somebody died, it all goes to you. After they dead, you get the money, you get the house. So what is him and his father really fighting about? It can't be about money because if Kevin was a, the full heir or inheritance, or executor, whatever the man said. It would have all went to him. So what is there to fight about? I don't like how the Braxtons are turning Kevin Jr. against his father. Because I did not like when Kevin at the meeting said that Kevin was born into the Braxtons, but the father married. I was like, ooh, no, he didn't. Did I hear just <laughs> did I hear what he just said? He said he was born into the Braxton and the father married the Braxton. You see how money would change, people. I said, I hope Kevin is not turning against his father because he need a paycheck and he don't got no money. Because that's what I'm thinking. Baby, I like, even though you're feuding with your father, that's still your father. You still got to respect him. The Braxton's do not want Kevin Sr. Tracy husband involved. Tracy husband attached to the Braxton brand. And I want to know why they don't want Kevin Sr. on the show. Why they don't want to have a sit down and meet with him. Because Tony don't want to do it. Even though she said yes on the phone, she was shaking her head in the cab. No, she don't really want to meet with him. Trina don't want to meet with him. So Wanda don't want to meet with him. Nobody wants to meet with Kevin C. And I think the important of this show is to have a sit down with the Braxtons and Kevin Sr. to get down to the bottom of this. Because I said the only thing, this is not really about legacy. This is about egos. The Braxtons never liked it, Kevin Sr., period. Even when Tracy was here. They never liked her. And I say, the reason why they could have never liked them, because all Tracy's sisters have been divorced and remarried, divorced. And Tracy is the only one that stood by her husband through thick and thin, for better or worse, to one man. Live with the man, fought for him to be on the show, to take with them in the past. She always stood by that man. Now, have he ever always stood by her? I don't know. I don't know. If Kevin Sr. had an outside baby on Tracy, Tracy is the one who decided to stay with that man. So she knew this information. The siblings don't have to like it, but they still have to respect that is Tracy's husband, who is now a widow. So she died married to the man and is 
the father of her son, Kevin Jr. And I said, Kevin Jr. needs to watch his mouth. Do not turn against your father for a paycheck. That is still your father. You respect him. You might not agree on things, see eye to eye, but at the end of the day, that is still your blood and that is still your father. Okay? Don't get too beside yourself, little Kevin Jr. Okay? You do, you do it too much. And I don't know for a paycheck because you don't have any money. If you had any money, you wouldn't be acting like this. You wouldn't be acting like this. And I said, it can't be about money because if everything was supposed to be left to Kevin Jr., he would have received it already. There's nothing to feud about. There's nothing to feud about. And I'm like, what image? Tracy is gone. What is What image is there to control? What inheritance? I, I, I don't know. You got the house, got the money. What else is left? I, I'm not sure. So Tamar talks about why she joined the show. Again, Due to her, due to her mental health crisis in the past, and she said because this is her legacy. I said if anything is affecting your mental health, you don't always have to be a part of it. Because this is your legacy, does not mean you have to come. You can tell your family in respect. I think you want me to be part of the show, but I would not do it. I feel like everybody is doing this show is for money. Because they need it. And I don't know why they don't be honest about it. Is this really about legacy or do everybody need a paycheck? It's another source of income for everybody. But the point is, if they was going to come back, it would have been nice if they would have been honest about it. Because I feel like this ain't got nothing to do with no funeral. And it always been like that. And the family legacy for the Braxes is dysfunctional, okay? It's this. I mean, family going to be dysfunctional, but the way they going is not good. It's not good. Mm-mm, honey. To turn your sister's son against his father is crazy, but it's written in the Bible. Father against son, mother against daughter, baby. And it's happening. And it's been happening. And I think Kevin needs to man up. They baby him so much that he do not know how to function in this world. And that is unhealthy, in my opinion. And I said, if that's the reason why they don't like Kevin Sr., is due to infidelity. But I said, Trina was married to Gay, and all he did was infidelity. He messed around on Trina a lot of times. And they gave him a platform. He not even here on this earth. They gave him a little memory of him being married to Trina. So what is the difference? Because I, I can't tell the difference. Between Gabe and, and Kevin Senior, if it got to do with infidelity, okay? So why he cannot be part of the show? You gave a little memorial about Gabe, and Gabe was not faithful to you, baby. Ran around town on you. you. You divorced him, married him again, and divorced him. And that's when you found your true love. And I'm glad she found her true love. I think everybody have a right to find their true love on earth. Okay, and that her true love is Vaughn. I believe Vaughn and Trina belong together. They are a perfect match. <laughs> and they better not go messing it up either. Tamar says she's doing this show due to her legacy. Okay. And because she was born as a Braxton, she belongs on the show. And she has a therapist on set to help her through her hard times if she needs the therapist. And I think that's great that she has a therapist on set to help her and navigate what is going on in the world. Tamar does an interview with a podcast and she talks about why the real reason she is back taping on the Braxes is because she says it's part of her legacy. Her legacy. She was born into the Braxtons, and her mom asked her to do it. And I think that is great. I think it would be more income from for Tamar to have part of her candle um, addition business because she's selling candles that have to do with manifestation that to remind her to pray so you can manifest the things that you want so you can bring zen and be at peace with yourself. 
So I hope her business is doing well. But I said if she want to advertise her candle business, she needs to show on how she use it in her daily life. How do you use that product in your life for you to manifest things? That would have been nice to see her using that. And the reason she keep going after her breakdown is because it, she needs to do it. She can't stop. Because it's not beneficial. She got to keep going. And she does it for her son. And she does it for her sanity. She can't just stop. Life is life and you still got to go on. And I understand that. I said the Braxton family legacy, what is it? What do they plan to leave behind? Because at this point, it seems like they leaving a lot of chaos behind. Family legacy is very important. When you on this earth, what do you want your family legacy to be at the end of the day? It's up to you to decide how you want that to be. I'm just going to say, Tracy, God rest her soul. And I said, Tracy, legacy will always be powerful. She was a mom, a singer, a wife, and she stick through the hard time. She got through it. I feel like both families weren't good to her the sisters or maybe the husband either but i said the braxton's gotta figure it out because that is tracy husband some people might say they don't have to deal with him because she's no longer here but i said you still gotta be kind to the man that's still kevin senior's father at the end of the day and i said the reason why they could have envy and treated tracy so messed up she was the only one that was married to her husband for better or worse, life, and to death. And to death do us part. She was the only one married to this man to death do us part. Whether he was a good husband, that was Tracy's choice to stay with that man at the end of the day. Whether he had an outside baby, that was Tracy's choice to stay with that man. As a sibling, sometimes we do not agree with our family spouses but hey nobody held nobody husband on this show was perfect okay miss e got a divorce tony got a divorce tawanda got a divorce trina got a divorce and tamar got a divorce only one stay married to death do us part so what is the family legacy at the end of the day is this really about tracy or is this really about people egos? But thank you for listening and thank you for